welcome to the broadcast. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me up here. What did you see that, that brought on the fist pump? Oh, there? trouble. And we've got issues in the trioval. The three involved. Drew Charlson, the 55 of Venerini Motorsports car, up into the wall. That's Bubba Wallace in the 55 car. A lot of cars involved here. Saw Drew Charlson, as you mentioned, the three car. There's Another, the 25. Yep. 25 of Justin Boston. A couple of Venturini cars involved. 69 of Steve Kemp. Brett Hudson, the 11 car. Wow, a lot of damage to Bubba Wallace's car. You mentioned cautions breed cautions. We got that pack back together, but then it really seemed like the restart. A couple of guys had problems. They fanned out. We were three and four wide, and no one really got into a rhythm once that green flag flew. Now nah, there was sort of chaos on the restart there. A bunch of guys had to split around, and like you said, they just they never got into into sync with one another and then all of a sudden this happens down here on the front stretch but I was fist pumping I was watching Frank Kimmel and Michael Duna working their way up on the yeah. top side coming to the front and then two corners later they're back to 20th again but luckily they missed this melee but there was still a ton of cars involved unfortunate for a lot of different drivers they're going to bring the field down pit road because there's so much carnage on the racetrack three up there in the trial well here's another look See if we can ascertain. It looks like somebody gets run into Justin Boston, the 25, gets run into from behind. It looks like maybe Bubba Wallace yeah. got into him. Don't know if Bubba had help being pushed and got into the 25 of Boston. It looked like the bottom lane, sort of accordion for right. some reason. I don't know why. I mean, everybody's wide open at that point on the racetrack. I mean, everywhere on the racetrack, right. you're wide open. But why at accordion? I mean, you can see it here. There's a couple guards. They're already checking up. See, they're all bumping each other right now, yes. and Daryl kind of gets into the 25, and, and then he has help from behind also from the three, but the wreck was on from there. I don't know why people were slowing down like that. Seems like sometimes a deal like that, Kyle, as you mentioned, it starts from the back and, and go, works its way forward. Yeah. As, as every car behind has more trouble getting slowed down than the rest of them. Let's well, see if we can look from this on. The spoilers are so high, and the drivers in these cars sit so low, you just can't see what's going on through the car in front of you. And, and so your spotter plays a huge role in uh, the sun, too. I mean, look at this. Yeah. yeah. See, everybody was checking up, and just there was there, nobody knew that was coming. That was just in Boston, and it wasn't over. No, it wasn't over. You don't have any problem in that cup car seeing uh, seeing over that rear spoiler, do you? Not here, not here at Daytona. It's only about, it's only about three and a half, four inches tall. But you go to the rest of these places that we're going to head to, and it's eight inches tall. It's it's a little bit harder to see over. So the the mile and a half places will be a little bit different. It's unfortunate for the 69 car here. He was he was wide open, just slide through the grass, and then right at the end got, got hit. It's a difficult situation for Steve Kemp under our second green at Daytona.